This is the Violent Professional Podcast brought to you by AriesClothing.com. I'm weirded out right now. Why? Because now it's playing and you're being put on the spot. No, because I normally use this one. Yeah, we normally share it. Do we want to do that still? Like, just so you feel comfortable or? Let's just see. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I this, yeah, this feels, this, I feels, this feels right. This feels more right. I think we're going to lead in with a questionable one, and then you can decide if you want to cut this or not. What's the questionable one? Well, I'd like to first start off with uh, me, me and Jeremy's beef with me not drinking this podcast. Because you seem to th- is it a consensus amongst everybody that I'm funnier when I'm drinking or not? Because I've done like 90% of these podcasts sober. I think only two of them I've been drinking. Make sure this is good. I adjust it a little bit. Is that true? Because Jeremy told me that and it kind of, you know, made me feel really insecure about doing this sober. <laughs> Didn't you start off the last one not drinking, but then you got your fishbowl out and started drinking? You no, know, I started that one. Your that... potential's higher when you're drinking. My potential. The conversation alone of you with the bowl of whiskey is <laughs> whiskey. What did you say the one time? I can't even. Bourbon. Oh, yeah. Bourbon. Bourbon. yeah, my Bourbon. Bourbon. Bourbon with anal seepage. <laughs> Bourbon. <laughs> the side effects. <laughs> Bourbon. Bourbon. It's your bond. I think I'm just as good, Jeremy. I think that's a lie. No, you're like Barry. Um, sounds like something fist. your wife tells you to make you feel better after you come in fucking 20 seconds. Yeah, she, oh, I mean, wow. yeah. Of course. That's 20 seconds of her life. That's right. So like this time was the best of my life, <laughs> better than the last time. Yeah, because it's twenty one seconds instead of twenty. <laughs> I was new, like, I did it. New year, new you. That's right. All right. So do we have? Do you have anything for us, Jeremy? Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Like I said, we're gonna start with the questionable one because I have no fucking idea where this is gonna lead. Because no, I knew just, we were getting these. If it doesn't work or if it just gets a little too weird, uh, we'll uh, we'll backtrack yeah, no, and pick a new topic. More. Shit! What was our samurai guy? There was this, we had a samurai guy. Yeah, my kimono or something. Guy. Didn't he kill him with a fucking? Killed him with kindness. Is it? Kill yeah, killed him with kindness. Yeah. Wasn't that a samurai sword? No, it was, it was a machete. Yeah. Machete. Yeah. machete. Same thing. <laughs> a little shorter. It's a it's a miniature samurai sword. Always said kill him with kindness. <laughs> Florida, that was a good one too. Florida <laughs> man proudly claims he's the first man ever to vape semen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's hot yeah all of them are just you know typical murder ones they're not exciting you know kills boss for political views the fucking machete one was when we talked about His boner tucked in his waistband <laughs> and the little teepee that his button up shirt made over the top. Yeah. Was that the one with the fucking in the trailer park? Yeah. And he was and fucking the, the, the other chick in the other boy. trailer? Yeah. He was trying to become a stand up comedian. And Pete, <laughs> Pete was this greased up, oily man, like, that made her all hot and Just bothered. hanging out at the pool or hanging out at the trailer. Yep. He, mowing the grass. He was mowing the grass. Yeah, he came home, <laughs> saw him on the couch together, and his whole deck was sticking out. <laughs> Nearly naked Florida man breaks into school, smears feces and cake frosting everywhere. Oh, That's just some shit. homeless dude. Do you think he brought the cake frosting, or did he find it? Cap- he went through the cafeteria, he's like, mmm, frosting. Florida man arrested after giving an aggressive wet willy. <laughs> oh, <that guy. laughs> His neck is so, it was so small. It's it meth, looked like bro. Hey Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> Florida man fatally shoots wife for being disrespectful. No laughter there. <laughs> we can all just... That was stupid, Drew. Yeah, no, we can all just uh, agree with that. It's totally relatable, and we can say that now because we lost all our women uh, viewers a few episodes ago, right? No, I've gained more. Oh, yeah? They yeah. didn't mind all the sexist stuff we said well, in the final finale, final finale of the... Uh, love it. Uh, the finale of... What have, you gotten, have you gotten a Come positive on. commentary from, from women about yeah. the podcast? Yeah. Like, post-episode 10? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that, like... I think the... 
pre-episode 10 is too nerdy for them, and then it's just so ridiculous that they're like, there's no way that these guys think that way. They're hilarious. It's like, well... <laughs> Sorry, ladies, <laughs> but it's all, all the episodes. <laughs> it's increasing. It's odd. I, I don't understand it. Yeah, I, thought... I ask them sometimes because I'm like, how... Like, why do you follow this? They're like, oh, you guys are funny. Like, that's you just fucking block weird. them. <laughs> you just block them immediately. Like, why do you follow? Stop being You're a funny. fucking weirdo. Yeah. You shouldn't think this way. I thought we were going to get uh, some feedback off of... What about this Women's one? studies. Oh, yeah. The women's that's studies not... episode. <laughs> and all the, the, all the faggot bombs and the, uh, <laughs> the motorcycle clubs. Turns out none of our listeners are gay either. It'd be awesome if one day, like, a gang of all of those things show up and they want to kill me. <laughs> a bunch of gay wingmen. Uh, motorcycle. Gen- gender studies majors. <laughs> yeah. Gay, trans, motorcycle riding <laughs> women. <laughs> you just don't turn up one day? Like, yeah. Oh, well, what, happened to him? what happened to him? Our team of crack scientists at the end of the table are searching. Crack scientists. I don't Give know who that is. One. They, uh, they studied the science of crack cocaine. <laughs> Or butt crack science. Or butt cracks. It's just. Oh, I know what I was going to say earlier. Something about our Bud Light seltzer. What were we talking about with the, uh, the Bud Latte seltzers? What do you mean? The, In reference to what? They were sponsoring us. And we were talking about them. Yeah, we did say P-boner. the oh, yeah. P-boner. Oh, yeah, we're going to have Post Malone with a big old P-boner. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to walk into the gas station with a big old P-boner, like, zipper his... down. Is he oh, wearing sweatpants? It's just no, out? It's, no, it's zipper down, it's out. Oh, full mast. So is and, it blurred because it's on public television? So it's yeah, it's going to be blurred. Giant it's going to be blurred. Is it a commercial? Yeah. Or is it going to be... No, he's going to walk into the convenience store and his his brain in there is going to be like... Remember how it was telling him either... Uh, Bud Light Seltzer or Bud Light? Yeah, Bud Light or Bud Light Seltzer. And it's telling him which way to go and he's like smashing the aisles over. Well, instead of Bud Light, it's going to be like Bud Light Seltzer or P. Bud Light Seltzer or P. And, just... then, and then he's going to walk up to the front with Bud Light Seltzer in his hand and then it's, it's going to be the blurry dick. <laughs> Then it's just going to be a stream of pee coming out of it. But it's going to he's going to reference all the different angles we talked about. But in, uh. before that, instead of him knocking down the entire store with his body, he's just waving his giant boner around and what, knocking his, everything his tattooed over. tattooed boner. <laughs> is that what, his dick's probably tattooed like his face. Yeah. But what does it say? His, his Always dick. tired. Well, if Bud Light's paying him enough, it probably says Bud, Bud Light. Bud Light seltzer <laughs> <laughs> with his favorite flavor. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I like Bud Light Black Cherry. It's like, wow, that's spelled all the way out. <laughs> Florida man in Spider-Man mask steals bottles of liquor from the store. Florida man in Spider-Man mask? Yeah. Hmm. Will's getting dry. I'm the old Florida man. I need some Jesus. Yeah, they're all good, but shit. I think we've been fucking... I liked the tiki one. Yeah. Can we read that Inoculated? one Inoculated? Is that a good term for that? Inoculated to the fucking... That's got a lot of... I don't know. That, I, don't I know. know that one words. sounded good. I think we can run with it. To the Florida man, because we've been doing so many. Some really high bar shit on the last few. Yeah, I do think my favorite one was the cat with the bow and arrow. Or cat with the crossbow, was it? Crossbow, That yeah. whole episode was gold. But that's I, what... was la- I think that's the one I was laughing the whole time, and I couldn't even speak. <laughs> Plus, I, I came back from the bathroom... And I was like sober, and I looked down, and I saw 12 beers. I was like, oh, no. And then I was like, blackout. Yep. And I was just laughing. So it was, what, Florida man arrested for beating drag queen with Tiki Torch while dressed as member of KKK, now running for mayor. Correct. Mayor. That one's good. All right. So we just do that. We, we can. So we got to figure out how. Holy shit, you're back. The little bit of backstory. And right now we're good. More important. Then Black History Month or Black Dog Syndrome is in two days, it's my birthday. Not and I important. will be 30. Not important. You're over 11. Your birthday doesn't matter. Why are you saying a 12 year old's birthday doesn't matter? I feel like my 30th matters. Not None really. of your birthdays matter. Why does it matter to you? Why do you celebrate something that you had no control over? Oh, well, I'm not celebrating it. But those around me will celebrate it. The last birthday they that counts is it. the last birthday that counts is when you turn twenty one. That's it. After that, it's twenty five, all... dude. Insurance rates. Boop. Yeah, but yeah, but there's a gap from the time you're like. What, then you move to Florida and they 20? fucking skyrocket again. <laughs> yeah, it's because all the old people. Fuck, dude. Florida rates kill me. 
And I, I, I think about insurance fraud daily for two of my vehicles. They so just, I might as well you, just take advantage of it. What's your plan, though? Are you going to run it into a tree, drive it into a lake? The problem is there's so many security cameras around. Yeah, but, I mean, you could lose control and drive into it's a pond. On. Recording. Eh. No, I don't, just let it ride. I'm not going to do it. We're not gonna I'm not going to do it. it. I mean, I might do it, but I probably won't. <laughs> but if you were going to. If I was going to. I've thought about putting it into the... Well, so it's a it's a vehicle like a four four wheeled vehicle, and it's a motorcycle. I had a fever all day. And I've thought about putting it into the Gulf, either one. The other thing I thought about was towing the motorcycle in the back of my truck, and then taking a sharp curve and letting it just fucking fall out. Just forget to hitch it up to the back, like Ooh, it's, it's just barely like hanging cool. on. Probably dump the van in the Gulf if I was going to do it, but then say it was stolen. Florida man climbs on playground equipment to tell children where babies come from. Nice. <laughs> okay. Was he wearing clothes? This is something. It's not my job to decide. Yeah. I gave you the headline. <laughs> I feel like this is your game now at this point. Yeah. It's both of you. Read it one more time. <laughs> Florida man climbs on playground equipment to tell children where babies come from. <laughs> Where would where would this be, Zach? Sorry, so, in Florida somewhere. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think uh, of a, of a spot. Florida. That's Gainesville. probably Sebring, Florida. <laughs> are we yeah, are we tying it into the other? If no. it, if it those makes the it main there. cast has died in previous episodes. Yeah, if if it makes it there, maybe. Okay. But this to me, this sounds like. A move a man named Travis would make. Okay, so we have a name, Travis. Mm-hmm. How old is Travis? Travis is about... He's got to be... I mean, it's already a creepy move. Creepy play, if you will. So yeah. He's probably pretty fucking old and creepy. But not so old his parents aren't... His parents are alive because he definitely lives in the basement. Yeah. He's yeah. uh he's 38. Okay. That makes Travis is 38 years old, lives in his parents' basement in Sebring, Florida. For, for a little ge- geography, Sebring is like middle central, maybe south central Florida, about 45 minutes southwest of Orlando mm. or Kissimmee. I was going to ask that. Is it near Kissimmee? Yeah. I've been there. I just haven't looked at the map. Yeah, for you military folk, it's the town right south of Avon Park. <laughs> <laughs> so Travis. Side story, speaking of last uh, last time I was in Sebring, I was buying uh, s- some groceries at the grocery store, and I'm, I'm in line, and there's this lady buying groceries in front of me, and there's the gal behind the registers, maybe like 17 years old, and all of a sudden, I'm kind of, the line's long enough to where I'm out of the aisle, like kind of sticking out a little bit not quite to where i come to the like us weekly magazines and all the little knickknacks that are there and this lady comes walking i see her out of my peripheral and she's walking and she just lets go of her cart that is now flying towards my direction and i was kind of like what the fuck and she goes behind like to the next aisle over as her cart is still rolling and i like obviously catch the cart she goes behind and gets behind the the the, like cash register gal and she starts yelling at the lady and buying groceries in in front of me taught like just all of a sudden is like you fucked my husband and this goes off on this whole (laughs) tangent about how she knows that she's this gal's fucking her husband and that she wants her more and like this whole thing. And this 17 year old's just standing there while this lady, she's got to be in her forties, just barking over her shoulder. And she's like, still trying to ring the food up. Like nothing is happening. And the lady's like, so, you know, you're making a scene. She's like, I'll make a fucking scene all over this grocery store. Like snapping her fingers and shit. And I'm like, well, only in Sebring, Florida, would this happen? I just watched this whole debacle go down, and I didn't even know what to do. It was like watching a soap opera. And then the manager comes in and was like, you have to leave. And she's like, she walks away and then comes running back. And I'm still standing there, one hand on her cart, just like 
staring at them like, what the fuck is happening? Anyways, continue on with Travis. Well, that's good. That's why, that's why that's it's funny you brought that up because that lady is actually Travis's mom. <laughs> <laughs> that's Susan. <laughs> Yep. So oh, just in that little preview right there, you can see the dysfunctionality inside of Travis's family. A little background on Travis, 38 year old man, divorced three times. <laughs> two of the weddings were annulled. So I guess it was only one true divorce, two Sounds annulments. oddly familiar to people at this table. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> It's not me. I would ask you that. <laughs> so what gave him the idea like I like he's trying to do his part for society by helping these children out? Well, like, I can tell you right now, the only the only <laughs> sick fucking type of people that think it's their responsibility to teach children sexual education are gym teachers. <laughs> <laughs> Travis was clearly a high school football star <laughs> turned turned middle school PE teacher, mm -hmm. right? Talks about the big game all the time, having those those uh, those constant flashbacks about his when he peaked at the age of sixteen on the junior varsity team. <laughs> so he's he goes into the park and he's obviously wearing like the short shorts, tube socks, white polo shirt, and no whistle. Yep, but it's a little chilly this time of year in Sebring, so he had his Letterman jacket, too. <laughs> <laughs> From Sebring High School? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to add that in as, like, a reveal for who he is. <laughs> so, are we in her clothes? Did you just look at the picture? Oh, no, you're keep fine. Going. Keep, going. keep going. Keep going. Okay. So, so I he... bet he's in his Letterman jacket. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys are nailing it. So, so he typically goes there... Uh, to do his his workouts to stay in shape, so doing pull ups on the monkey bars, <laughs> and uh, going up and down the stairs that lead up to the spiral slide. Yep. So he keeps high knees, high knees, high knees, high knees. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> up down, just up. chanting high knees, <laughs> <laughs> up down, up down. So he's already out there. The kids just get released for recess. No, Come this is like a no? park. This where... is after hours. This is probably oh. probably school lets out. The, the kids that live by the school are able to just kind of go hit, the, hit up the, the playground before they head home. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's a school playground. I think it's like a city park. Yeah, like a park, but it's on the on the route home from the uh, – probably Travis probably lives somewhere over there with Susan anyways. Mm -hmm. In the basement or garage. Garage, right? There's no basements really in Florida. Yeah, that would be hard. <laughs> so, converted garage. We yeah. need to be – very well sealed <laughs> so he decides to to tell i just want to know what the lead up is to like you know what these kids need to know what really goes on their parents are probably telling them lies or well i'm gonna go out on a limb and say travis's ex-wife is one of the faculty members at the middle school <laughs> as well and so they have daily encounters where he puts her in highly uncomfortable positions and i think this breakdown occurred due to uh her finding a new love, also a, another faculty member, either vice principal or principal himself. Or like the science or math teacher. Could be. Like Somebody's a, more a senior, it's a senior a educator, though. Mm. Also probably a senior citizen, but <laughs> definitely more senior. And uh, that, that sets Travis off. He finally loses it. Yep. Well, how did he go about doing it? It was like a typical, like, hey, we're going to teach you about sex ed. Or was he like the dude, the son, the the gym teacher from Big Mouth? Where he's like, you gotta stick the. <laughs> yeah, I think it was some more, a little more uneducated. He's a, he's a victim of three failed marriages. He probably doesn't have a good. Well, I don't know. The two annulments could have been before because of sexual performance. The ladies were just unsatisfied. The third, she felt sorry for him, so she stuck around a little bit longer. Longer, like little bit outside the annulment window mm -hmm. but not you know not long enough to be called even a legitimate marriage mm -hmm. but yeah i think it's he's suffering from a lack of sexual performance um and it's due to that inexperience yeah so he's like a... he was actually doing the right thing in high school he was focused on his football game <laughs> trying to make varsity and he was he was stiff arming the girls you know along with the defenders <laughs> That's yeah. No. Give know. give us a little insert. The the 
t- teaching them sex education. I mean, talking to a little kid like I think you're you're miss we're missing how he gets to the point from working out on gym equipment to getting so fucked up that he tries to teach kids the birds and the bees. Yeah, I know. There's a, there's a big gap. There's a there's a turning point within his brain that he thinks it's okay to do that. I think the big gap is his ex wife's cooter that's being filled by the principal now. So Travis, in a fit of rage, storms <laughs> out of off of school grounds outside of any sort of uh, realm of control that he has. Storms to the nearest uh, s- the nearest park to get burn off some steam with a workout. And it's around 3, 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Kids are released. They're walking home. And he's over there just trying to do the one-arm pull-ups, but he's only... <laughs> He's got a real, real slow, a real uh, small raise, if you will. Just falls. I feel, I feel like he tried to go to like a seven or Circle K, right? That's what's down there. What's a, what's a good gas station? I mean, he could have gotten his fit of rage and gone to a Seven Eleven or Circle K. Need some supplements to go do some extra pull-ups. He was so mad. Tried to get the so he started drinking those Mad Dog Twenty (laughs) Twenties. Yeah, he picked up some Mad Dogs and some Stingers. He, yeah, he tried to get some Stingers, but it was Enzite instead. <laughs> so he's full fucking rock hard going to the to work out. Yeah, and he's like he's like three of those Mad Dogs deep. Is he already at the park? The and, he's at the park all dude. fucked That's up now. And then the kids yeah. the kids come cruising by. Like the glass bottle. Yeah. Uh. So as they come cruising by, they start making fun of him because they're like, "You can't even do a fucking pull up." And he's like, I'll tell you something about doing pull-ups, you little shits. And then he just goes off on a rant. Mr. Travis, why do you have, what's that? <laughs> well, son, this here is what all the ladies are missing out on. Apparently it's not good enough. <laughs> well, it's a good night for, for wife one or two. Well, see how I do push-ups? <laughs> we do one at a time. So then he goes on his rant about sex, and it's awkward. And what the mom starts showing up and like, um, Pete, what, I, what's his last name? Because they wouldn't call him Mr. Travis. Oh, that's kind of a Jimmy, a gym teacher type thing to do. Coach Travis. Yeah, Coach Travis. That, that sounds about right. What, what's going on here? Well, let me tell you, Karen. <laughs> Your son's here's a little piece of shit, but I'm still trying to teach him what I can about sex education. <laughs> But he's really, like, talking about his annulments and how he can't perform. Mm-hmm. And then he starts going into why he was working out because he's getting ready for American Ninja Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave this place, and I'm going to be a star. I'm going to make it to the show. I'm find my fourth wife myself. who appreciates all this talent. If they only had the salmon ladder so I could practice here at the park. I don't really got anything else. <laughs> Travis sucks. Yeah, Travis sucks. <laughs> I died out on Tra- this one. Yeah. It's got said. I was hoping for a little bit of, I tried to lead it there, but a little bit of trying to get some energy pills and took boner pills instead. It was rock hard and like short shorts. <laughs> See, that's the problem with going down that route on that one. Is like, it's it could go really creepy. Well, I mean, it's all fake, so we could talk about little kids looking at your dick. I oh, know, but yeah. what if he just, what if he whips, whips a kid with his dick They're on They're like, accident? they don't understand why his giant penis is poking through. They don't even understand what that is. So he tells them. They're, well, if they're, they're tight, if they're tight pants, it's not going to be like just this rager that's poking through. It's going to be kind of like pushing hard against the suffering. tight pants. Just suffering. suffering in there. Well, if, but if they're, <laughs> if they're short enough and there's not a liner present, it's going to pop right out. <laughs> <laughs> just like the crossed at the bottom a lot of, of the... lines in the past. Like this is maybe the line we don't want to cross. Uh, We're not yeah. fucking the kids. Drop his mic. Let's wait for that raging hard on. Well, well, this is the context of the story you were going to add because we're really spiraling here. Oh, that dude had, he was, he was a black dude with a giant face tattoo. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. yeah. The reveal. Holy shit. Can we we're tell people how to find off. the picture? Because we were way That's off. right. I, I think I got one that we can lead into more context, Boop. better backstory, more development. <laughs> we good with leaving that one where it was? Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Before I... Uh, she gone. Right. I, mean, I got to go to the bathroom, and I have a chub right now, so I really don't want to... 
What? You've, you've got a you've got a pee boner. Jeremy's yeah, gonna need that's about. A, that's a scientific no, term. No, you're talking I about made. penis and little kids. So <laughs> pee boner. Jeremy needs yeah, about 21 seconds when, in the bathroom. Tell the people about the pee boner. The pee boner is. When you have to pee really bad, typically it's in the morning when you wake up. It's, it's raging. It's, it's a subconscious thing your body does to keep you from pissing yourself in your bed. Because have you ever tried to pee with a heart on? You can't. No. It's, and especially if, if you have a urinal, it's no problem. Let that thing fly. <laughs> if you're trying to pee in a sit-down toilet with a pee boner, yeah, I can just get spray all over the floor. Yeah. And cutting it off is equally as hard and too. it's painful too now you gotta lay down on no, top you gotta of the like, toilet you gotta bend over the top of the toilet like this and yep. push it down <laughs> then when you're trying to finish it's just dribble 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 everywhere mm -hmm. it's falling out so all it's, it, away it's, from the toilet and piss in an arc it's a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm trying. laughs> no, it's a mind. preventative measure that your body does to keep you from peeing your pants so i've yeah. labeled it the pee boner have you ever have you ever mentally overcome a pee boner and just t rolled over and slid it into your partner laying next to you? <laughs> no, no, I've not. I, I've done, absolutely. And then done you that. pee in her and you're like, I'm squirting no, too. Your body, <laughs> it's not pee. You're like, it's not pee. Your you know, body is smart you, enough me. to sh just like <laughs> close your what? What? What do you pee out of? Your, your, your dick urethra. hole. What <laughs> scientific term is dick hole. hole? What do you come out of? Your, your dick, dick hole. hole. Yeah, but there's one hole. It's not mass damage. Yeah, it's all one hole. It's you not. Know, there's you, a flap that transitions. We don't know. Yeah, enough. it blocks off your urethra, though. I don't think there's an actual two, like dual. No, tubing. it's not dual two, but there's some sort of a transition piece there. Yeah. Your body is smart enough to transition from P to ejaculate. Science. It's all, it's all the same. <laughs> it's it's, no, it's, it's all the science. same. You guys just oh, don't pee? pee? I thought pee that and was ejaculate's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> one's thicker, one's thinner. <laughs> they both taste the same. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. That's true. Uh, yeah, that, I know. I used to, <laughs> raise, I used to raise my hand in, in high school until he tried to come. <laughs> <laughs> that one's delightful. This one, the fucking black cherry. That one's good. You tried that oh, one. It's good. By the way, Violent Professional Podcast is brought to you by Bud Light Seltzer. <laughs> Unofficial. <laughs> Unofficial. Unofficially. Sure. Unofficially. <laughs> I'm going to tag them in the fucking captions. <laughs> Next time, they better send us two cases. Or another way. Bud Light Seltzer, the biggest pee boners. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or, I mean. You have B three BL Seltzers <laughs> wake up with a giant pee boner every single time. <laughs> it's healthy. Uh, or another good move is you just sit down on the toilet but obviously you can't put your pee boner inside the toilet but then you just lay forward yeah you gotta lay, <laughs> lay forward but you, you lay backwards and no, put you your rest your head on the tank no, but even you, then you just... get a little lazy you start sitting up and then you just get pee coming between the seat and the brim <laughs> and it's just spraying out in front of you <laughs> no but you got to get like completely vertical and do like a plank or get in the push-up position yeah plank you gotta plank. Do you lay do you lay sideways across the toilet yes, like, no not sideways. sideways just sit down and just curl your legs up <laughs> and then you just lay forward in that push-up position and then you, you know, rest your arms on your if, if you've pot. got a high water toilet like then your end your dick is in the water and then you just pee that's but well, you, that's, you know it's a sacrifice you have to make in order to to urinate it properly. looks like putting the like most a water be. hose like <laughs> yeah. the thing and it's making a you don't hear it at all no the most convenient <laughs> thing like is when you can just yeah. wake up with a pee boner and hop straight in the shower yep you gotta get in the shower and you just Throw your hands behind the head. Just let it go. Let her fly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm spraying the walls, curtain, whatever. You're like, ah, That's what the it. shower was made for, for you to pee in it. Yep. Science. All right, next story. <laughs> <laughs> Enough on that. All right. That was a good right. picture reveal. For your mind. For your mind. This one's going to be easy to work with. Good. The <laughs> last one was hard. I know. Florida man arrested in local park for practicing karate on swans. <laughs> so many dudes in parks. I mean, we've all been tempted to do that from time to time. The fuck swans. Actually, my grandpa got attacked by a swan <laughs> when he was golfing one time. These motherfuckers are vicious. Did he bitch out or did he fight it? I think he bitched. I mean, it was like a, a very nice golf course. I think they would have been upset if he killed one of the swans. Can't show fear. I think he swung at it, but I don't think that he pursued the swan. He was golfing? Yeah, they were on the one of the water things. What's that called? A water trap? What? Is you like golf a on a, a water trap? I couldn't tell you. I'm not well versed in that. What's uh, a water feature on a golf course called? On, it's water. Oh, water. Water. <laughs> <laughs> 
anyways, yeah, he was fucking golfing, and uh, a swan pursued him because it was nesting right there, and it was trying to peck him viciously. I think he, if I remember correctly, he swung at it, and then it was kind of dispelled. Wait, after did he that. try to punch it, or did he try to swing it? No, at a club at it. Oh. It'd have been better if you tried to punch it. <laughs> Knock that motherfucker <laughs> right out. <laughs> Hell yeah, Grandpa. R.I.P. <laughs> punch anyway. that swan in the fucking face. <laughs> Fuck you, Never swan. heard if that actually hurts if they get you because it looks like their rounded bills wouldn't yes, make it. It hurts. They little. I mean, they just bite you. Ever seen it inside of a swan's mouth? Yeah, they, they've come at me before, but I've so never what you're, karate what you're telling me, this guy that was doing karate on the swans. He was training for something because he was going after such a vicious creature. He's probably training for the swan specifically. He's probably been in a situation like my grandfather. And he's taking and, revenge. Yeah. So is this guy well trained in the arts of karate? Number one, that's how it's called. But what? First off, what are the belts of karate in order? Does anybody know? What do you start? Colors? At yellow? The, well, do you start at white? Yellow, white, white, white and yellow? yellow. No, brown. Green. No, white, brown. Green belt? <laughs> brown belt? I, I think, think brown before I'm black. I'm pretty sure it's white, brown. yellow, a purple orange. Belt. There's a brown in there. Green, blue, red, brown, black. Oh, what about someone was a karate there. nerd? Yeah, there is a purple in there somewhere. But the 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 moral of the story is once you go black, you never go back. Yeah, the, and then you get yeah. your I think your your three red bands or whatever on your black belt via whatever triple whatever fucking expert a, a master sen a senior Jedi. Yeah, something like that. Is karate master. the same thing as Taekwondo? No, karate is two different. Yeah, Taekwondo is Taekwondo. Taekwondo is Korean. Ah. Uh, anyway, so what level do you think this guy's at? He's probably close to his yellow belt. Yellow. That's up front, isn't it? Yeah. Early, early oh, yeah. Early on. So do you think he was? Uh, he, I think he's self-trained via YouTube. YouTube. Mm hmm. So he's how just, old is he? Hmm. I don't think he's very old. I think this is uh, mid twenties. Yeah, early twenties. I'm gonna say twenty. Twenty flat. He always wanted to go to karate as a kid, but he his also, parents wouldn't let him. And he started training. Sixty-five-year-old white belt just got into it because <laughs> <laughs> because geese were picking on him. <laughs> Geese killed his wife and he wants revenge. No, oh, he had been going to feed the geese and the geese a, turned yeah, on him. And he's like, I got to learn version. karate. <laughs> yeah, 20-year-old. He gets picked on at school because he was witnessed being attacked by these swans. Mm -hmm. And he needed to prove himself. So he started watching YouTube karate videos. I don't know who's a big YouTube karate star that has educational Master videos. Ken. Master Ken. Rex, so, Rex Kwando. Yeah, Rex Kwando. That's, right. that's Taekwondo. Well, it's, it's all the same. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's, let's be real. It's all Rex the same. Kwando. Well, I mean, to any of our listeners that do karate religiously, you can poke holes in this later and don't really care. You do karate and you're an adult. That's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> and we just lost the two that do karate. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> what they call it? Karate? Karate. karate. It's not, I mean, it's not embarrassing that you're, uh, staying in shape, arted, arted, no, practiced, excuse me, practiced in the <laughs> art of karate. It's more embarrassing that you arted, continued, arted. What was that? continued <laughs> doing it past the age of 10. <laughs> That's the embarrassing thing. Or, or you don't have a, a UFC contract. So there's like one dude that does karate. Does he actually do it during fights? Yeah. I want to fucking watch that. Is he a success? What's his name? Is he successful? He was the champion at one point, wasn't he? Machado or... Ma I don't know. Okay, anyway. But there was one dude. I think they mashed that shit all together. That's why it's mixed martial arts. <laughs> it's just chaos the whole yeah, fucking time. The sport you just punch each MMA. other. That's a fancy yeah. way of saying you're punch just you. doing punch everything. <laughs> yeah. You don't know what you're doing at that point. They do. It's all defense. That's why he couldn't react until they attacked him. <laughs> All right, so 20 year what's his name? Mm. You said he's 20? Bryce. Ooh, Bryce? Bryce, B R Y C E. <laughs> Bryce Breeson. <laughs> Perfect. That's a tough. That's a that's a that's a good name. Bryce Breeson. God, he had so much potential. <laughs> so much. Fuck. He was arrested, right? He's his mom is. Well, yeah, his, yeah his, every man. one has been arrested. And now that's a felony. Every state, right? If yeah, because it was protected wildlife at this park. That's why it's, it was a felony. But geese? Either way, 
any animal cruelty is a felony. Well, now, now it is, yeah. So Bryce Breeson is getting. Mm. I don't know. I don't know how far that law covers though, because he could have committed that act before. We don't know the date, but we can say whatever we want though. It's only for torture. If he's doing karate chops, he's none. Is that torture? Mm-hmm. He might be defending himself. I think. Yeah, he, but I think he's doing all of his training by watching old Chuck Norris yeah. videos and Roadhouse he's practicing karate. On swans, yeah, he goes but, to torture. It's not, but we know he didn't have felony, like real training, so he's watching movies like Chuck Norris and Roadhouse, and he's just like throat ripping fucking swans, <laughs> <laughs> he's throat ripping swans left and right. Have you guys ever, you ever go geese or duck? Not duck, really, but geese hunting. No, no. waterfowl, ducks. It, it's bad because the way you when you shoot a shoot a goose and you down it. If it's not dead, you got to walk up and you just fucking wring its neck and it snaps in your hand. You grab it by the neck and flip yeah. it around. And that's the humane way to kill it. So he's just. But if you do it with a duck, the fucking head pops right off and they it's run just. It's kind of like, well, <laughs> that was excessive. But it's hard to pop a, a duck's head off by spinning it around. I've no, they tried pop, it. They Chicken's pop right pretty off. easy, but I've never it's, tried it's a chicken. It's not easy. It's all about the snap. If you just keep spinning it, it probably. Just ducks' necks are pretty it. thick. Like with a chicken, it's like good two swings and a pop in the. Yeah. Head pops right off. No, the first duck I ever killed, well, it wasn't by the shotgun blast. It was when I picked it up and I popped his head off. It was very, I mean, it wasn't traumatizing. I was like fucking 16, but still, it was shocking. <laughs> you know, geese have like a lot of shit, a lot of cartilage in that neck. So you're just whipping well, that I forgot around. why we started talking about this. but Well, we got to talk about how he because kills Because he's him. killing him. Was he doing oh, throat, throat ripping the throat Was he throat, throat ripping ribs. or was he whipping the I don't the know if around. that's a karate move, the throat rip. Maybe uh, it's like uh, the a judo karate, chop, a karate chop, a Judy, a Judy chop, and an a Judy. For the sake of conversations, would we'll say anything we ever seen in movies where someone does some type of martial arts is karate. So open your <laughs> yes. imagination. Yes. Okay. okay. So he does that look little... when it happens, and he's just like, "Whoa!" Mm-hmm. Every single one. Yeah, he's like, "You disrespect my." He gets an accent. He's like, "You disrespect my family." <laughs> his, his mouth is moving, and his voice is going in different. Pattern. Yeah, for no reason whatsoever. You disrespect my family. <laughs> he's still moving his mouth after he says that. <laughs> he's <laughs> but his he doesn't have like he doesn't, his own commentary. He doesn't have a gi. He wears his mom. His mom's name is Karen, obviously. <laughs> Stepdad's Todd. He Bad wears bro. Karen's silk pajama <laughs> bottoms that are like really wide, and he just and then the top and nice then he, rose color. Yeah, and he rips the top off, and he's just wearing the silk bottoms with those. Li- he he bought. Those those foot protector things, the like the, padded fo- the little padded foamy ones, <laughs> and then the same with the hands that like cover up to the fingers, mm-hmm. and he's just wearing that with the r- rose colored silk pajama bottoms his mom Karen has. So fashionable. <laughs> Are these held up by a drawstring, or is what's what's the size of Karen? The only a thing jaw- he, drawstring, but he, he has the he, belt. He, he's got to have the belt. He it's not a regular belt. It's a silk robe belt. His stepdad Todd has for his dad's stepdad silk kimono <laughs> <laughs> and Todd's a little younger same kind of persona as uh, Kevin is that the, the gym teacher Travis Travis, Travis. Mm-hmm. where he's like former football star or whatever he's excessively tan <clears throat> he works at the, the local sporting goods store only jacket he has is his letterman he wears it in the winter you mm-hmm. know it's Florida He's got a nasty blowout haircut, like Jersey Shore. <laughs> and he typically wears like no. In the winter time, he'll wear like the the like Russell sweatpants with a mismatched like kind of paint stained Russell sweatshirt and flip flops. Or sorry, slide on uh, Adidas sh- yeah, sandals with the little with... the individual little plastic nubs. Yeah, but it was like a hundred th- hundred of them or whatever. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he's always giving shit to Bryce because Bryce is doing nothing with his life except playing computer video games. And it's like you need to start getting active. And, and that's when he's 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 trying he's fighting to train his t- uh, to fight his stepdad Todd, <laughs> who always puts him in a headlock and gives him noogies and shit. And he's like, I'm 20. Stop it, Todd. You're not my real dad. <laughs> talks like that because he still has braces he got braces late Mm -hmm. he gets made fun of for that too and his mom's like you need to do something you need to quit larping in the in the the playground by yourself before he picked up (laughs) karate larping by yourself 
before he that would yeah. a sight, be a sight to behold. <laughs> but <laughs> no, he sets up his his old teddy bears that he still has, mm-hmm. and they all have different superhero names. He has like councils and stuff, and there's like wizards, and but they're different <laughs> stuffed animals. This took a turn. <laughs> So. Be- but that this is all what led to him learning karate <laughs> and then stealing his mom's silk rose f- silk fucking pajama bottoms and his stepdad's Todd's black kimono. So he's like, I'm a black belt now. I watch a lot of Chuck Norris and and uh, Kurt Russell. <laughs> Not Kurt Russell. Uh, oh, don't you dare. Roadhouse. Roadhouse, sorry. Patrick Swayze. Swayze. So is but this... he's also watching Dirty Dancing so he can get that flexibility because it's Patrick Swayze. <laughs> so right. he's doing those high jump kicks and <laughs> spins and twirls and stuff because not only do you not know how to need to know how to kick, but you need to be athletic as well. And that's where the dancing comes in. So does he? Um... <laughs> so he gets all this on. He goes to the park. Is this park co-located to his house or is it like? Does he have to travel almost like a quest? He has to go. To go through, through, he has to go through the woods in his backyard to get there. Mm. And it's maybe like 200 meters, but he turns it into like this adventure. <laughs> Just big, so, big so, ass turns, like a, a massive quest. No, on yeah. his way through the the woods, he's he's doing his dance routine so he can get warmed up <laughs> because he wants to be flexible and be ready and agile. And he's doing his dance routine through the woods until he gets to <laughs> the that fucking dance park. Ang- scene from like Hot Rod and Flash. Yeah, exactly. Like, Dude. Just banging on the fucking <laughs> he's, tree. He's angry dancing, and then like he goes to punch a tree, but he's like my hand. He like shakes it off, and then he gets back in into his his anger dance thinking about fighting Todd <laughs> stepdad Todd the entire time sounds oddly all similar I can, to fucking hot rod all I can imagine is <laughs> yes. West Side Story he's just all going through it. the woods snapping his fingers like crouched over but it's hard because he has those foamy hand <laughs> gloves on so it's just like this is rubbing it's like god damn I can't even snap alright so he gets across the 200 meters opens to the the fucking the park the battle of his quest at the park yeah and it's he sees the geese and in his mind it does the zoom in on the geese's face and then zoom it back in on his face <laughs> it's just bouncing back and forth camera angles close-ups yeah do they lock eyes the swan or oh does yeah it, does he try and sneak up on it no they lock eyes but there isn't one there's several so he first sees the one, and then he approaches it, and then the other ones come out. In his mind, they're encircling him, and they're like, you know, he's having this imagination that they're these, like, man-bodied <laughs> geese people. But they're really geese, So, but there's, like, an old lady it's walking like a centaur. By. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> human. It's like a human torso on a, a swan body. But with a swan head, too. Swan just, head. Just, <laughs> where the long neck is. It's just they a got awesome, torso. like, flexed out, steroided out bodies yeah. that are walking around all fucking wonky, like, yeah. these heads. <laughs> their stupid yeah, little heads fucking duck-footed. bobbing back and forth. But it, in his mind, he's having a conversation, like, the don't, dis, you know, you disrespect my family stuff, and then they're like, we will defeat you, and the, yeah. the geese are talking to him. Meanwhile, there's like a old elderly couple like sitting on a bench in this park Some watching red. watching this whole exchange go down. They're Ultimate like, centaur power. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on? He's like, you know, re- uh, I reach for the power of Patrick Swayze. And, he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where he begins. Like in his mind, he's having this epic choreographed like kung fu karate fight with these geese but in reality he's like chasing them around like throwing swing swings and missing because they're all like running around in circles and then he's like falling over and shit so it's all in his head realistically the swan Dude. were not trying yeah. to actually fucking fight him but he's like oh the, in his head the swan are like oh Bryce Breeson we meet again <laughs> Bryce Breeson <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to do kicks and just mit- just not hitting anything. I just imagine the geese are running around. He's like, ah, and falls over like they actually hit him and shit. Every exchange in this, they're, they're, the swans are calling him Bryce Breeson. Yeah. You always use his full name. Bryce Breeson. <laughs> not again, Bryce Breeson. You will not defeat me. <laughs> <laughs> but in his fit of rage, he ends up just grabbing a hold of one of the geese by the neck and just starts slamming the, that <laughs> geese into other geese. And he's like, I hate you, Dad! And he's less like getting geese blood all over his mom's 
silk pants it's like and shit. The Hulk on Avengers when he just fucking smacks it back and forth, just breaking the thing's neck. And yeah. this is all like in his head, and he's actually doing it. And then people start coming around. They're like, "What are you doing?" And he's like, "I hate my stepfather." He's like, <laughs> he's "I'm, just beating I'm training for my fight." <laughs> He's just covered in geese hair and, and geese, geese hair. Geese hair. It, it's they're geese swan. swans. Whatever. Geese swans. No, they don't have, they have no hair. feathers, hair. bro. There's no hair. It's feathers. Uh, I mean, whatever. whatever. <laughs> feathers. <laughs> whatever. We call it goose fuzz if you want. <laughs> All that goose dander. Yeah. Geese feathers. Sorry. Have you seen the goose fur? It's glorious. <laughs> it's goose fur. <laughs> Got a goose skin rug. <laughs> I got a goose fur pillow on my bed. Yeah, I got yeah. this, this down go goose fur. I got fur. goose down inside and goose fur on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, swans. Swan feathers. <laughs> well, I mean swan fur. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Swan fur. Oh, well played. <laughs> So what is the app? So he, how does he get caught? Though? So the, the old people are pissed because he's just beating the shit out of all these swan. So obviously they're gonna call the police. I bet the old dude came over and whipped his ass too. Got up, threw down his bag of uh, breadcrumbs. Actually, he brought that as a weapon. Yeah, started he started beating, whacking him with it. Mm -hmm. He started beating Bryce Breeson's ass. Yeah, with but eating breadcrumbs. But old man comes up, and he's and he's like, "Hey, what in the hell do you think you're doing?" And Bryce Breeson's like. He's like, are you here to challenge me? And he's, and the old man's like, I fought in the Korean War and I loved it. And he just starts beating his ass. Yeah, and Bryce is like, well, I know karate. And he's like, fuck you. <laughs> he's just beating his ass with fucking what, bird seed or fucking a bag of bread. I just imagine Clint Eastwood, racist as fuck against anything karate or whatever, Asian, just coming over and whipping his ass with a bag of breadcrumbs. And he's not punching him. He's just open hand slapping him. Yep. <laughs> Drawing blood. <laughs> <laughs> and he had, the old man has those hands where it's like his knuckles are super fucking big. Yep. Calloused as fuck. The calluses are ripping, claw, like ripping, gashing his skin open on <laughs> Bryce Breeson's delicate 20 year old face. Breaking his braces. <laughs> <laughs> breaking breaking Bryce Breeson's braces. <laughs> Bryce Breeson's braces. <laughs> uh, then the cops come and he gets arrested at the store. <laughs> the end. The end. Fuck you, Bryce Breeson. Well, that was great. We revisited Florida, met two individuals. Um, thank you for listening. Do you have anything to say? Uh, I'm still curious about the whole uh, drag queen getting beaten. By the KKK member, but we'll, we can address that the later. Tiki torch, dude. That's a tiki that's torch. a volatile weapon. It yes. is. It is intense. It's not only sharp, but it's got a flamma flammable and essence to it as well. How that guy ran for mayor? I don't know. We'll never know. It's for um, another episode. I look forward to uh, picking up my bro Bryce Breeson here. He posted bond. I'm gonna go when I get home back to Florida. Go on down to Sebring and pick him up. Hmm. He wasn't from Seaburn. No, nope. that was the first. <laughs> That's movie. erroneous. Probably same area. But there was that dude in uh, Seaburn that was while we were down there performing um, castration without mm -hmm. a without a doctor's license. We talked on that last time, didn't we? I just punched the mic, so it wasn't <laughs> so, loud. Well, there's there's a lot getting cut out of this. So. Is that do rabbis even have a license to castrate? No, he wasn't Fucking... a rabbi. He was what? He was uh, rabbis don't castrate. Yeah, they do. No, they no, cut they off don't. your dick skin. Or oh, sorry, not castrate. Whatever. Same thing. You're cutting off part of the dick. No, doctors do that. <laughs> you're like, hey, rabbi, can you no. circumcise my baby? Yep, God is nuts. The, <laughs> no, no, that's not true. In the Jewish commu community, they do circumcise the rabbi. Yeah, Castration. yeah. You yeah. said castrate. I know. I was confused. Sorry. Yeah, yeah I, I'm pretty sure so rabbis don't rabbi do that anymore, if He was cutting off people, little baby uh, balls. I don't. Little baby dicks. Come here, boy. I'm a nut collector. It's like a bone collector. <laughs> they call him the nut collector. <laughs> Ra Rabbi, what is it? What's it? Drawn in blank. Rabbi Manashevitz, the, the nut, nut collector. collector. <laughs>
Rabbi Feinstein. <laughs> what does he do? Just with put him? your balls here into the device. And Give I me a little along. baby. Put your balls in. <laughs> I collect all the baby dicks to make a Jewish star out of it. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? We did it. He uses one of those fucking paper cutter things. The oh, big... <laughs> this is a little fucking baby Jew ball guillotine. <laughs> Jew ball guillotine. <laughs> and the parents are really pissed off. And he's like, look, no more foreskin. <laughs> but Rabbi, you took his balls too. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that the Jewish voice? I know. I know. It's like, so racist. Look at the whole It's on everything. Every fucking pop culture thing is like, oh yeah. yeah. I don't feel bad, dude. They're they're oh, fucking yes. far more wealthy than I will ever be, so I can make fun of their voice. All Jews, every one of them. All of them yes. with their. Little pocket, little bags of Jew gold around maybe their necks. There's, maybe there's something. The Jew tears. <laughs> yeah. What? Maybe baby dick skin is worth something that we don't know because all Jews are rich. <sighs> you mean they've been selling our poor skins for <laughs> <laughs> centuries? <laughs> they've tricked us. <laughs> Damn uh, these. That's, Jews actually just developed stem cells based off of foreskin. all the foreskins they <laughs> gathered. It's the richest in the nutrients <laughs> to make the this stem cells. about to get real anti Semitic. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for being on the Violent Professional Podcast. I appreciate all of you and all of your nonsense. (laughs) 